really tough act to follow. I wish Christy was running in Castaic. <laughs> She'd have my vote. Um, most of you have heard my background already. Um, I do have a website. You can just Google Susan Christopher School Board and you'll, it'll come up. You can learn more about my background, what I do in the Castaic schools. Um, I personally think that being on a school board has to be a team effort with the parents and the administration and the teachers. And I think you all believe in that because you believe in the unions that the teachers are a part of. And we all want community involvement and community organization. And Castaic is facing some really interesting things right now. Um, of course we have budget issues. One of the, uh, among the issues that we're facing because of the budget, um, a lot of our bus routes were canceled. Uh, it's been a really painful, painful experience for a lot of parents who are dual income or single family homes that no longer have busing available to them. Um, summer school was canceled. And that's a really complex issue because we had to cancel summer school in order to protect our teachers and keep class size reduction and protect our classroom. But the fact remains that for many children, especially our least advantaged children in our community, summer school is the best thing they've got going for them. So we have to keep looking at that issue as well. Um, and the bilingual education, the bilingual flyers even, have been an issue in my community. And I uh, went on public record and, and fought that. Uh, it was over email. It was a grassroots effort to try and convince parents that we needed to fight the school board and no longer have the requirement that things needed to be in Spanish for our Spanish speakers. And um, I went on record and fought that. And those are things that keep coming up. <laughs> but, but one of the things that we're facing, I think especially, and I know John will probably talk about this as well, John Zaring, who's a fellow Democratic candidate in Castaic, um, is the high school issue. And this is exceptionally complex for the Castaic School Board because we have no control over what the Hart Board does. We have no control over the, the Hart School budget. But we've asked for a high school. Many people moved up into Castaic in the 80s, being told that the high school would be built there. A couple of bonds have been passed there now, and we still don't have a high school. It's a big issue. And we have to work creatively to try and make sure that that high school actually happens. And if nothing else, our school board has to take the lead in how to advocate for our students, because every two years, our kids are getting flip-flopped back and forth from Valencia High School to West Ranch. I know it's painful for the people who live and have their children at West Ranch and Valencia as much as it is for the kids in Castaic. But what that also means is that every two years, our middle school is having to revamp their curriculum to prepare the students for a block schedule or a traditional schedule and things like that and what their curriculum looks like. And so it's a real problem for our district. But as a community, we need to make sure that uh, Val Verde and Paradise Ranch, the areas in Castaic, I don't know how much you're all familiar with those areas, but they tend to be the, the English language learners, the less economically advantaged areas of our community. They don't have a voice in our school district right now. They're marginalized, they're blamed for every test score issue that Castaic schools have, and that's my passion, is to make sure that every single person in our district feels like they have a voice. And that's one of my first goals. And that's what I'm working on. I've been working on. My flyers are going out in Spanish and English. It's something I'm committed to making sure that everyone, if, if one person walks away feeling like they haven't had a, a voice in their school district and for their kids, then we completely miss the boat. And so that's one of my main goals and main issues as well. So again, like Christy, I want to echo my thanks. I so appreciate your support. Um, many of you, or a few of you at least, came out when I was organizing for Obama um, during the primaries. Um, and, and I really just think this is the neatest community. And I so appreciate all your help, Carol and Dave and Minerva and Todd. You guys have been doing so much to help uh, further my campaign in Castaic. And I'm really grateful. So thanks for having me.